Welcome to It Takes Two. I'm Blair. I'm Chris. And today we'll be talking about Love and Marriage DC Season 3, Episode 5. Look, before I even tell y'all to subscribe, I need y'all to watch the show. Watch Love and Marriage DC. Give them some views so they can get next season. And then subscribe to us because we're going to talk about it. Then comment, then share, then like. Do all the above. You ready, Blair? I'm ready. Let's go. We start where we left off before at the lunch with Winter, Ashley, and Arena. Yeah. After Winter has invited them to the ski trip for Valentine's Day. Mm -hmm. Ashley says she's not going to come. Okay, Ashley. Arena says that Joy is saying that she can't deal with the Silvas. Y'all are pretty much saying the same thing. What are we going to do, Mm y'all? Winter tells, um, well, says that it's not Ashley's trip and she doesn't want to exclude anyone. So everyone will be invited. Yeah. Winter tells Ashley, I think you're hurt by Joy. And Ashley is upset because they were hanging out. Things were great until they weren't. Winter tells her that she needs to have a conversation with Joy. I mean, I think that's what happened. They had a conversation outside. And they made it clear that, you know what? We're not going to talk about it, man. We're not going to be friends. We ain't going to do anything. This was outside the the lounge at the basketball game. Mm-hmm. And then Ashley went inside the lounge and started an argument with the husband. Yeah. So, I mean, I, like, I, I don't really understand how Ashley can reverse engineer and just see things as if, like, people are picking on her. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? But, you know, it is what it is. Well, apparently, Joy sent a text to Ashley Yeah. after the sweet situation. Mm-hmm. Ashley reads the text to everyone, and she pretty much said it was like a business-like message. Okay. It didn't feel like very personalized. Mm-hmm. Um, Joy was saying things like, we're role models for love and for women of color. Ashley is now deciding to go on the trip for the other ladies. Mm-hmm. Uh, the petties aren't going to dictate what she does. But they kind of did. Mm-hmm. They literally did just a scene ago. Yeah. <laughs> Not, excuse me, in the same scene. Right. You get what I'm saying? First of all, like, how else do you want her to address you in the text message? As friends? Y'all not friends. Mm-hmm. So I I don't know what Ashley wants from Joy. At first, she's like, we're not friends. And then now when she addresses you as a co-worker, a co-worker <laughs> you're like, oh, like this is too business professional. Like, who do she think she is? Ashley, I, I think you're happy being unhappy. <laughs> you get yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah, you get those people who just like to be in conflict with somebody. Mm-hmm. And I feel like Ashley is that type of person. She's got to have something going. Yeah. <laughs> it's always something. Even when it, it was with Winter, where before we were just like, okay, yeah, Winter, you calling yourself a relationship expert and never been to this man's house. Mm-hmm. That is kind of crazy. No, that's, that's brilliant. But at the same time, the intensity in which she didn't like Winter did not make sense. Winter did nothing to that lady. <laughs> <laughs> so here we are today with Joy. Yeah, I gotta make sure I button up my shirt. I ain't trying to show me the goods. Okay. You know what I'm saying? All right. Um, in the last episode of this review, it, I think I I think we named that episode the Ashley Show. Mm-hmm. Go back and watch that video, and I give a detailed reason why. Um, like basically this, like what's wrong with Love and Marriage DC? Yeah. And it will actually surprise you of why, um, Love and Marriage DC is not a quote-unquote enjoyable watch Mm -hmm. compared to the first season. Right. You get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. And also in this scene, I agree with Winter. Like, Ashley, this is not your trip. Mm -hmm. This is not your show. Yeah. (laughs) This is an ensemble cast, Mm -hmm. and the cast is coming. It's kind of her show. Okay. But the cast is coming. You don't get to dictate who comes on this trip. Facts. So, moving on. Let's move. Clifton and Joy are at home. He's working on his beard oil. Yeah. They enjoyed spending their game night, their time with the Tylers. And Arena is trying to bring everyone together. But Joy and Clifton really aren't feeling being with everybody on the ski trip. Yeah. They plan on going. They will have their own accommodations. Um, and they're just going to work it out that way. Mm. Are there mm-hmm. any thoughts about that? Not really. I'm totally fine with them having their own accommodations. I mean, I'm of the type if not even if the people we're traveling with, more so the actual accommodations. If the room or the bathroom isn't to my liking, then I'll just rather pay for something more comfortable. Oh, so interesting. Yeah. <clears throat> So it gets to the scene. Pretty much everyone is packing, getting ready for the trip, talking about what they're expecting, yeah. um, what they're nervous about, mm-hmm. all that type of stuff. So the Tylers are packing. Jamie thinks that the Petties and the Silvas are going to have an issue. Yeah. 
um, they plan on having a good time regardless of how anyone else is at. That's not possible if everybody having a bad time. Winter was able to secure the separate accommodations for the petties. Yeah. Quick and Ashley aren't feeling the petties. Mm -hmm. More so, she doesn't mess with Clifton because he leaned over her and disrespected her. Interesting. I mean, he's taller than you. Mm -hmm. So he's, he's going to lord over you just by height alone. Yeah. Arena tells Jamie how quick asked if Jamie was there, why didn't he get involved in the situation if Ashley was being disrespected? Yeah. Jamie thought Ashley was doing too much and Clifton was actually good for not making her get out of his face. Yeah. Arena says that it's best Jamie didn't step in because things could have escalated. Question. I'm your husband, right? Mm -hmm. Would you want me to step in? Let's say, um, I don't know who is one of you, who like like a friend to like defend someone else's wife. And <laughs> you get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Because he went downstairs or he went upstairs, wherever quick went. Would you look to me to be like, Chris, can you stop this? Not in a situation like this. Mm -hmm. I felt that nobody was really in danger. Mm -hmm. And I agreed with Jamie. Like they were going back and forth, having an argument. Nobody was in danger. Mm -hmm. Clifton really wasn't even raising his voice or yelling at Ashley. Quick wasn't there to see what actually happened. Yeah. So I know, like, don't step in. They're talking. They're having a conversation that has nothing to do with you. And nobody's in danger. And this is why I don't understand. Because you wasn't there and you only taken in third party accounts, you basically filling in the blanks in your in your imagination. Mm -hmm. he, Quick is making it more than what it was. He really is. You get what I'm saying? Because he wasn't there. So he just getting everybody's account quick. You need to be a man and actually make it your duty to see Clifton before this trip happened. That's what I would have did. Yeah. Because I'm like, if my wife is distraught and things like that, and I heard this happen, I need to see you. Mm. There ain't no phone call to where I'm making threats. There ain't no phone call to where I'm asking what happened. I need to see what happened. Mm -hmm. And the thing about it is, I think he did make a phone call to Clifton. I think they did talk on the phone, if I'm not mistaken. And he even called Jamie to ask Jamie what he saw. And my, and Jamie was like, nothing. Like, it, it it was cool. It was just an argument. So I don't even understand, like, why he got enough information from everybody in the room. The only one saying that they was in danger or things of that nature is Ashley. And I'm not saying go out here and, and, and don't believe your wife. But I'm just saying get all the information. If one person, if Clifton's saying it wasn't really like that, if Jamie's saying it wasn't really like that, Irena's saying it wasn't really like that, eventually you just have to say, okay, I wasn't there, but can we set like a standard? If there's ever some type of disagreement or things like that, like, can you just come to me? Yeah, but the funny thing is, like, that would, I would absolutely agree with that, but Ashley walked up to Clifton and had her hand in his face. Yeah. <laughs> Clifton was just standing there, mm -hmm. you know? And so even if, if I was Clifton in this situation, I'd be like, I ain't got no problem coming to you, but I wasn't even trying to talk to your wife. She came up to me. And I'd just be like, I, <laughs> and guess what? And what, and what Quick is going to say is, just come to me, dog. <laughs> You feel me? So it's like, yeah, but I, but even in the situation they were packing quick says something along the lines of, you know, my wife felt disrespected. So I got a problem, you know, whether or not, you know, he disrespected you or not, you felt that way. So it's an issue. And I'm just like, so we just are, we just are suspending facts and reality. It's just whatever Ashley feels just and Ashley tells us she feels a lot because her hormones are off. So we're not going to say she feels a lot because she's a woman now. We ain't going to no, say that. No, she went to the doctor. She said she's uh, really angry. You know, she's lacking sleep, all this type of stuff, which would make you not necessarily be on your A game when it comes to um, having conflict or really able deciphering situations and things like that. So, just, yeah. Just come to me, dog. Okay. okay. <laughs> like, I mean, like, like, there's really no... When you're dealing with someone like Ashley, right? I think the thing about it is... Which is kind of, I don't want to um, speak on their marriage because I don't know these people. Right. Right. And I think Quick expects people, Quick expect everybody to deal with Ashley the way that he deals with Ashley. Just pacifier. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. I don't mean pacify. Right. But he kind of just like let her get her issue off. Mm -hmm. But my thing is, I'm not Quicksilver. Right. You get what I'm saying? Most men probably won't deal with that. Most men probably won't even let a woman talk to them in that way. Mm -hmm. So 
the same way as he can go to Clifton and be like, man, just come to me. He has to go to his wife and be like, don't be talking to these men crazy. I don't care how tall you think you is. I don't care if you're the same size as him. Don't talk to these men crazy. Don't call these men out their names because you're putting me in a position that I I love you enough that I'm willing to defend you when you're wrong. Yeah. So can we at least minimize how often wrong you are Mm -hmm. or how much wrong you can be? Don't talk to these men. If I'm telling these men don't talk to you, don't talk to these men. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? That's how I felt like Quick should have addressed it Clifton on something like that. You get what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Not on some like, you know, oh, we ain't bang with them, we ain't bang with them. I'm like, like Clifton, like, I mean, not Clifton, Quick. Your wife is already doing that. You ain't got to do that. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? You got to be the bigger man, the bigger person in all of this. Because at the end of the day, if you're going to be the one that going to put the hero cape for your wife, make sure it's worth the fight. Mm-hmm. And this ain't worth, this ain't nothing. No. But. No. Yeah, well, Ashley has no plans on talking to the petties this weekend. Yeah. And Quick is just a yes, sir, and his wife. A yes, ma'am, a yes, sir. Yeah. Yeah, this Massive. whole time. <laughs> so, everyone is meeting at the Tyler's house to head to Deep Creek. Yeah. The petties are going to be traveling separately. Uh-huh. Jamie, uh, they get into the Sprinter van, and Jamie asks, are the petties on their way? He asks Winter. And she says that they're on their way, they know the itinerary, and they'll meet up with us when, you know, they see fit. Yeah. They play a truth or dare, ask each other scandalous questions. They dare Jamie to kiss his wife. Um, Irena asks if Ashley doesn't like the petty. She says that she doesn't like Clifton mm. and calls him the B word. No, stop right there. Mm-hmm. Do you see what I mean? Yeah. Quick, gotta be the type of person. Cause right, right when he did, right when she did that and all that, he said, "Let her go. Let her keep talking. Let her get her issue off." Right. Mm-hmm. At that time, you have to be the man to be like, hey, don't call him that. Yeah. It, it, like, it, that's not necessary. No, it's not. It's never mm-hmm. necessary. Because if I'm going to be, A, I'm going to put the cape on for my woman when she's right and when she's wrong, you have to minimize the wrongs. Yeah. You have to make my fight worth it. Mm-hmm. And it's not worth it if you just out here recreationally calling this man the B word. Right. Men do not. Let me let me tell you a secret about men. Not me per se, but I'm going to tell y'all a secret that I think a lot of y'all know. And it's a sad secret, Mm. to be honest. This may hurt your heart. Okay. Men don't like women. Mm. I'm telling you, we want to be married to them. We want y'all to have our babies and things of that nature. We may even take pictures with your family (laughs) picture. But if you look at just certain crimes, just certain interactions, you will get the feeling that, do y'all really like us? And I'm telling you. When it comes to men and women, when it comes to disagreements and things like that, and she's out here recreationally using that B word towards a man, Clifton looked like he had some sense to where he wouldn't do anything. But I would tell you, a lot of men will not take a man calling them the B word. Right. At that, a woman. You get yeah, what I'm saying? It could be very dangerous. And, yes. you know, as popular or as well connected Quick might be, I mean, nobody is immune to somebody actually wanting to cause you harm no so i think everybody should tread lightly and be as respectful as you can exactly and a lot of things are out of our control we can't help if people are violent and all this other type of stuff no but but don't try to say things that you know will offend and get a rise out of people Mm -hmm. but at the same time this is a reality show but i i feel like stuff like that is crossing the line like clifton and especially because he didn't do anything to you exactly and the thing about it is unfortunately i think ashley knows what type of guy clifton is Mm -hmm. so she feels comfortable calling him that yeah you get what i'm saying she kind of gets she kind of knows the temperature of joy Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? She's like, you know what? She ain't really going to do anything. She may just yell at me. Mm-hmm. And quick so just sitting there like, to let her get an issue of let her talk and things like that. Hey, bro, I am not obligated to deal with your wife the way that you deal with your wife. Exactly. Your wife called me the B word. I may, I may address that differently than how you address that. Mm-hmm. You get what I'm saying? Not me personally. I don't put my hands on women. Mm-hmm. But I'm saying men, there are men out there. Yeah. Men out there will feel like, hey, listen, I'm an equal opportunist. Mm-hmm. I feel attacked. Mm-hmm. I'm not that. But I'm just saying men feel that way. Yeah. And I'm just like, quick, don't pra- don't don't have these practices because what's going to eventually happen, these private practices of disrespectfulness towards men in these type of ways, going to get public performances. Right. If he feels like calling, quote unquote, this man out of his name, the B word, 
in private like this, she have no problem calling him that to his face. Yeah. And it is only so much a man is going to take mm. being called the B word from someone that he knows that if he wanted to, he can kill. Yeah. It, 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 if we go be frank, let's be frank. Yeah. A lot of men is not going to take being called the B word from someone that they know if they wanted to with their bare hands. They can end their life. Mm-hmm. So I'm like, don't even play with that. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. I don't know. Like that's that's something I don't like. My, my wife knows I don't like when women call the men the B word. We be here watching other reality TV shows and they do. I'm like, don't do that. Yeah. I'm like, Mm-mm, I don't like that. Mm-hmm. I really don't. Yeah. Ashley asks if Sherelle doesn't like the petty. Yeah. And Sherelle says that she doesn't like the lies. Her husband has never been shady or unethical, and she doesn't like that Joy goes around saying that. And Black, he really doesn't want to talk about it anymore. Okay. Well, my thing with Sherelle is you didn't know them back then. You don't know what transpired. Mm-hmm. You, we weren't there firsthand, so all you really have to go after um, is what your husband says. Yeah. Which is fine. I mean, trust your husband, absolutely. But at the same time, you can't discount Joy's experience. No. So if Joy hasn't straight up told you exactly what happened, um, you can't make a decision on what happened or what didn't happen. Is mm. that's what I think. And and honestly, I think Sherelle. It's easy for me to say just stay out of it. I mean, that's her husband. But at the end of the day, like you don't know, so no. <laughs> you really don't know what happened. Listen. So and with Black, he don't want to talk about it probably because he did something. Mm. <laughs> or, or, or maybe he's over it. Who knows? Or maybe he's over it. But, yeah. But the thing is, which w- when you create an environment to basically, I don't want to say bully because this is adults. Mm-hmm. Adults can't be bullied, right? But I'm saying when you create an environment like that to where we go talk about the patties, you know what? Clifton's a B. Yeah. And then actually, like, hey, do y'all like him? It, it gives the. It gives people the gumption to be like, you know what? I don't like them. Yeah. Because they be lying. You get what I'm saying? So that's why I'm like, I understand Sherelle may be like defending her husband, but I feel like there could have been a better way that you could have defended him while still stick keeping yourself out of it. Yeah. You know? Well, everyone arrives to the house. Yeah. The chef has prepared dinner for them. Yeah. Winter tells everyone to choose their rooms. And there is this big hoopla about the rooms because not all the rooms have bathrooms. The Tylers are going to have to share bathrooms with the Duncans. Um, Arena and Sherelle confront her about that bathroom situation. And Winter tells you should have closed the door so they can't see their bathroom. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but that was uh, pretty much that. But they are still going to stay there. They're just going to have to share the bathroom mm-hmm. and work it out that way. Yeah, I think mm-hmm. Blair would have made me leave with her. Yeah, we would have been gone. Okay. I want my own bathroom. And, and even through <laughs> but all, we're still going to come to all the events. Even through all that, guys, I still don't get my own bathroom. <laughs> okay, so it, 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 I'm still the loser in all of this. <laughs> well, the Patties made it to their accommodations. Yeah. They plan to stay positive and weather the storm. They pray for a good trip. And they select their code word out of the Bible for when it's time to leave the righteousness of faith. Yeah. I see y'all. Mm-hmm. So at the dinner table, Winter talks about how you, her and Yusha met. Yep. They met um, through the podcast they were invited to by the Duncans. Mm-hmm. They had chemistry. And this is Black and Sherelle's first successful match. Um, Winter and Yusha have been together for four months at this point, mm-hmm. And they are staying abstinent. Okay. Okay. Next, we see Joy and Clifton arrive. They're yes. greeting everyone. When Clifton goes to Dak up quick, quick tells him they'll talk later. Start right there. If you're such a, I defend my wife, I'm an on-site person, rah, 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 mm-hmm. you know what I mean? I would have put my foot down and say, let's talk right now. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? If I'm going to go through the whole ceremony of not giving you dap, not giving you no handshake and things of that nature, I'm not going to hit you with the weird talk later and then be in the confession like, you going to do this to my wife and think I'm going to dap you? Nah, man. Like, where do y'all do that at? No. Where you do that at? To where you're passive aggressive. Yeah, and just shading this man. Like, no, 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 no. If I was really serious about defending my wife, I'm like, let's talk right now. Yeah. Let's let's step Because that would be heavy on your heart. Let's step outside. To have outside that right now. conversation, confrontation, whatever it was. Let's step outside. As right soon now. as you see him, like, hey, we got a situation. Like, we need to talk right now. Mm-hmm. Let's talk. Tell me what happened. Yeah. Right? I, and before I even involve Ashley into it, I'm going to talk to him one-on-one. Then I'm going to bring Ashley into it. And we're going to come to a, 
I don't even want her to apologize. I don't even want him to apologize. Yeah. We're going to come to a new understanding of how we're going to interact Yeah. now. Because personally, I didn't have a problem with the petties. I'm talking as Quicksilver. Mm-hmm. Right? My wife had a problem with your wife. You know what I mean? We had lunch. You know, we was cool and things like that. And now all of a sudden, you're involved in it. I don't know what's going on. I wasn't there. But let's set up a new standard, right? Yeah. Y'all don't talk to each other. Mm-hmm. That's what I would have said. Y'all don't talk to each other. Because... I'm the type to defend my wife right or wrong, mm-hmm. right? You over here telling me you didn't do nothing wrong. I wasn't there, so I can't, I can't do nothing. But what I can do is this, y'all two, don't talk to each other. Ashley, don't say nothing to this man. Don't, don't even talk about him. And if you can, don't address my wife. Anything that needs to be done or anything that needs to be said to her, talk to me. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? But I don't understand why quick want to be talking as if he's like 250 plus you get on clifton ain't a small guy yes he got a back problem yeah you get what i'm saying but at the same time if you really felt that rah 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 of i defend my wife that was the moment to do it right then and there now i know we'll talk later no we're gonna talk now yeah and we're gonna talk matter of fact we're gonna talk right now in front of everybody Mm -hmm. because jamie was there and really was there Tell me what happened tell me what you see from your perspective arena what did like you see from your perspective jamie and i'm not doing that to make my wife seem like a liar because I really don't know. We only seen it from our point of view. But I would have been like, so this is the new standard. Clifton, don't talk to my wife. Mm-hmm. Ashley, don't talk to Clifton. You know what I mean? What did you think about this? Because I know you. I, give me the version that we can say on camera. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> no, I was really annoyed with Quick. I yeah. thought it was very, um, I thought it was very petty, childlike. I just didn't think it was cool. Yeah. I felt like you and Clifton have had, have built a rapport to where you can invite him to your wrestling thing. He comes out and supports Mm -hmm. you invite him out to lunch to have conversation. He'll go and he'll chat with you. Mm -hmm. There doesn't have to be this weird energy between y'all, you know, because you're defending your wife. Your wife is safe. Let Ashley be Ashley. (laughs) You, you be quick. Exactly. And even I'm thinking back to this sweet, you know, skybox situation or whatever. And I'm like, I think quick left because he knew Ashley was getting riled up and he didn't want to be involved. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You want to conspiracy theorists over here. Yeah. You want to leave the situation and then have another man defend your wife. That's wild to me. You should have just stayed there. If you saw she was getting all worked up. But I think it's because you know she gets worked up and ain't nothing you can do about it. Mm. <laughs> so you were just like, I'm just going to go enjoy the game. Yeah. And then you asked her to come with you and she said no. Well, maybe you should have stood there and made sure she was good. Well, listen here. I'll tell you this right now. If, I, if I'm if i quick and, and, and the game is almost over and I figure go down to the floor, I'm going down to the floor. <laughs> <laughs> I'm with you there quick. I'm going down to the floor. Mm-hmm. Especially since y'all... I've been hearing this, and that's the thing about it. To his defense to that, he probably just thought it would just go in with, like, I don't want to be there for the Joy and Ashley thing. Yeah. Because that was the whole thing that it was about. I don't even know how it got to Clifton and Ashley, to be honest. You get what I'm saying? Because she walked in there talking to him. Talking about, like, talking about some jealous or things like that. And I'm like, hey, like, just Ashley, (laughs) just do what you do. Quick, let Ashley do what she do. Don't take on the personality of being passive aggressive and things like that. It doesn't look good on camera. No. It just doesn't. Mm-mm. Anything else happened this episode? No, that was it. Listen here. I think we're going to get more into it next week. Make sure y'all subscribe, like, share, comment, all the above, and we'll be back next week. Bye. All right. Bye.